hello again so in the preview lecture i tell you that we should have a button call it app link configuration in this place so right here this is an example a screenshot from another cluster that have multiple hosts so here you can see that we have the option app link because this different host connected to the real physical switch so we can configure the app link of the different hosts so right here we have this configuration of the app link this configuration will apply to every host any OVS configuration will be changed so this configuration configure the different host at the same time to use the same configuration you cannot configure the active backup in host one and then active active in the second host you have one configuration for the file cluster so for that we have the upland configuration without lag that means we don't use the lag technology in this situation we have two options we have the active backup and the active active with mac pinin so the active backup that means one adapter in the band is active additional adapter acts as a backup until the active adapter file link aggregation must not be configured in the connection switch so right here this technology we use it when we want to use the redundancy that means we use one network adapter for connection and the second one as a backup in case we have a problem with the first network adapter or the cable or the switch or any tank that will let this node lose connection with the environment so he will try to use the second network adapter and star send the traffic through the second network adapter then we have the active active with mac pinning so in this situation all adapter in the band are active source mac addressing are periodically rebalancing among adapter based on the network load link aggregation must not be configured on the connected switch so this is the idea of the second option then we have the active active with lag that means require a lag configuration all adapter in the bound are active traffic is balancing among adapter based on the tcp and udp port then we need to active the link aggregation and lacp must be configured on the connected switch so this is the different option that we have in the app link configuration the active backup the active active with mac pinning and the active active with the lag configuration and of course here you chose the network configuration to choose the 10 gigabyte or the other network adapter so this is the idea of the app link configuration so right here if we check this explanation of the different app link configuration you see right here the active backup it's work like this diagram right here that means we use one ethernet to send all the traffic the host the cvm the virtual machine one the virtual machine two virtual machine three etc all the traffic of the data will send through this network adapter the physical network adapter to the switch one of course in another node the active one will send it to the switch two or switch one by balancing the network through the different switch so right here the active backup host and network default notanix recommended for ehv that means if you use a hv hypervisor this is the recommended one and the default one that's created when you deploy your cluster so the pro of this configuration is easy to set up no special switch configuration necessary then the cons is the host limited to one up link at time that means in this situation all the traffic will go through one up link and if we have an overloading of the data transfer we'll have only one app link that use it to manage all this fall traffic then we have the active active mac pinning it's also called it balancing slb is the same idea of the active active in this situation it is not recommended for ehv the pro of this situation is a good bandwidth for hosts because in this situation will use one network adapter for the host and the cvm traffic and the other network adapter for the different virtual machine that means when we create virtual machine it will start use this network then if we create a new virtual machine it will choose to use this network or this network so it will separate the two network adapter for the different virtual machine we have in this host and one of them will be used by the cvm and the host in this situation we have a good bandwidth 
between the node and the network because we have a double speed in this situation if we use a 10 gigabyte ethernet port that means the speed of the bandwidth in this node is only 10 gigabytes with the network but in this situation we have two network adapter used so we have a total of the 20 gigabyte speed bandwidth between the node and the network so this is the benefit of using this active active mac pinning but the consequence is vm or single link that means when we lost this link we lost the connection to the virtual machine available in this node and the same idea if we lost this network adapter we going to lose the connection to the hypervisor and to the cvm then we have the third configuration the active active by using the lag lacp so in this idea right here we have a balancing between the two different network adapter that means we'll balance the traffic between the two network adapter and in case we lost one of the network adapter we still have another one available that we can send to file traffic through it in this situation you will need more switch configuration that means you need to configure it the different switch with the vcp mlig and lacp and it is a complexity environment that need more configuration and more attention to your environment you need to test the file bug that means you kill this switch and test if your traffic that exists in this adapter should forward to the other adapter or to the other switch then you get back your switch and see if your traffic will get back to the switch and the balancing between the network adapter and the same idea for the second switch so it is a little complicated to manage your environment that using the configuration active active with leg so this is the idea of it the pro of this configuration is the best bandwidth for host and vm you have a best bandwidth for the host and the virtual machine because it is double network but in case we lost one of them the one that's still available can handle all the traffic on the data of the different virtual machine this technology need a switch configuration and a test of the filer of any switch to see if your configuration is work perfectly so this one it's look like similar to this one but here when we have a filer in a network adapter the second one will work without any problem but in this situation is look the same of this one but when we have a filer in a network adapter we lost the connection to the different virtual machine that use this network adapter and will be out of the service so this is the different host link aggregation that we can config in our uplink adapter so see you in the next lecture to discover more